Good morning and happy Friday. My name is Kathy Miller and I'm the pre-K teacher at Salem Lutheran School. Our devotion this morning is from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Our devotion is entitled Hot Dog. Our Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 through 33. Jesus said, Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So, what do you seek first? People seek first a lot of things. Joey Chestnut is one person who seeks something pretty strange. What? You don't know Joey Chestnut? That's a shame because he holds 14 world records. In his field, he is the best of the best. Now I suppose you're wondering who is Joey Chestnut and what is his field? Those are fair questions and that calls for a fair answer. 32 year old Chestnut comes from San Jose, California, but his greatest fame has been attained on July 4th at Coney Island. And the fame part? Chestnut's famous because he has <clears throat> regained the world's hot dog eating contest championship. That's correct, at the 100th anniversary of eating Nathan's hot dogs, Chestnut, also known as Jaws, has taken the prize by scarfing down 69 hot dogs in 10 minutes. That's a lot of hot dogs. Almost as impressive, there was a woman's hot dog battle too that was won by Mickey Sudo, who managed to beat out all the other ladies by chowing down 38 and a half hot dogs. Now more than likely you're saying, Hot dog eating is a pretty ridiculous sport or pastime, and whatever you want to call it. It's not necessarily healthy for contestants, and it certainly isn't going to make much of a positive impact on the world. I agree, which is why I place this hot dog eating contest before you. You see, in the eyes of the Lord, anything that pushes aside the relationship he wishes to have with sinners of the world is foolishness. He sent his son to rescue us from sins. To that end, Jesus was rejected, ignored, and murdered. The life of the sinless Son of God was put up as ransom that would save us all who are brought to him in faith by the Holy Spirit. In short, from God's point of view, if you have the risen Redeemer in your heart, you have that which is necessary for a successful life here and a blessed eternity in the hereafter. Without Jesus, Everything else you do is second-rate foolishness on a level equal with winning the hot dog eating contest of the world. Let's pray. Dear Lord, grant that I may keep first things first in my life. When the world wishes to get us off track and pursue goals which are second-rate to you, may we hold fast and seek the kingdom of heaven, first, foremost, and always. This I ask in my Savior's name. Amen. Have a good day in Jesus.